Well, two days left now until the royal wedding in London, which will, of course, cost millions of dollars to pull off. But here at home, the average wedding costs around $25,000 and uses a dozen different vendors. Every year, the Better Business Bureau gets hundreds of complaints against local businesses who help put on the big day. And if you're juggling them all, KXAN's Ella Hernandez reports it's easy to get scammed. It was the perfect day. We had a great experience. I mean, we, it was wonderful. Everybody was there, and everything ran very, very smoothly. Ames and Caitlin Brown exchanged their vows in front of friends and family, kissed and danced under the lights for hours. But as soon as the party ended, problems arose. And so that's sort of where things fell apart. The couple chose Barker Photography to take photos of their wedding because of the album that he designs. But after the wedding, they couldn't get in touch with him. He just became completely unresponsive. Ames says they paid Barker more than $3,500, and at least a 1,000 of that was for the album. He has made phone calls, emails, filed a complaint with the BBB, and even threatened legal action, but still no answer. BBB-accredited photographer Eric Hegwar says albums can be difficult and a touchy subject. When we're working with album companies, that's a third party that sometimes we don't have a whole lot of control over. Eric says to avoid disgruntled clients, he encourages the bride and groom to buy a DVD of the pictures, so if they need to go somewhere else, they can. He also says there is so much production involved, you should be prepared to wait. It can take sometimes weeks, months, and in rare cases, even years to get the books books produced. A photo album is not the only item Ames and Caitlin paid for but didn't receive. They also bought a special cake for their one-year anniversary from Portobello. By the time it came around, they were out of business. The BBB says it's a common problem for wedding vendors. There are certainly some highs and lows in that industry, and so it is typically sometimes hard for businesses to make it throughout the year. Ames says that he's learned a lot from the experience. Think about if you are going to have a longer-term relationship with the vendor, then really try to make sure that you think they're going to be around. He also says you have to stay in contact constant communication with the vendors and really push them to deliver as soon as possible. Sally Hernandez, KXAN, Austin News. KXAN called Barker Photography several times, but they have not returned our phone calls. We also visited the downtown location listed on Barker Photographer's website, and tenants say he moved over a year ago. For more tips on how to avoid any wedding mishaps, log on to KXAN.com, click on the investigative tab.